but that's not a problem. We can easily create them, and I'm going to show you how to create them right now. Um, I'm going to open Photoshop to do that. Now, Photoshop is not the only tool to create these objects. And by the way, all the assets that I'm going to create here, you can you will be able to download them later on on, um, on appsfresh.com. Okay, so let me just show you the website where you can download them later on. So you could go to appsfresh.com, and um, and here you could just like type in the in the search for color switch, and uh, you'll be able to find that. Okay, having said so, let's go back. And inside of Photoshop, I'm going to create the sphere. So I'm going to do a new file, and uh, I'm going to create a small sphere. Let's say 60 by 60. That's it. All right, and press OK. And now, as you can see, this is pretty small, and I'm going to create a sphere inside of it. So I'm going to take this rounded rect or the uh, elliptical tool and just create a sphere that's going to be a white sphere. Why am I creating a white sphere? Well, because what's going to happen is that um, the sphere will change color. So we want it to be white first so that we can change colors later by applying different effects. All right, so I'm going to remove what's inside of this and just do a sphere. I'm going to zoom in, all right, and now I can create a sphere inside of this. Now, here, whenever we're inside of, um, of Photoshop, the sphere starts at the center, so I need to be at the center. And now I'm going to create the sphere by pressing the Shift key down so that I can have an, an, uh, the, the width and the height that's the identical. All right, and that will do. That will do just fine. And I'm going to move it a little bit up. Here we go. And that's it. We have a sphere. Now I'm going to save that. I'm just going to save it for web, command Alt Shift S as a PNG file so that it keeps the alpha transparency. And I'm going to save that. And I'm going to call this one sphere. That's it. And I'm going to save this inside of my desktop and save. All right. So um, now I'm going to create also the, um, the floor. So the, to be able to create the floor, I'm just going to create a new file. Command N, and I'm going to create it. Let's say uh, it's going to be very long. So let's say 500 here, and the height um, just uh, 250. All right. And now what I'm going to do is um, leave it this color. It's fine if it's white. And I'm going to save that. As that could be a JPEG, but I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to save it as a PNG, and I'm going to call this one floor. The PNG. All right. Save. Okay. So. I'm done for now with Photoshop. I'm going to close Photoshop completely. Again, you can do this with GIMP. So you can go to uh, GIMP.org and download GIMP. It's totally free to use. And um, you can achieve the exact same thing as what I just did. OK? There's so many ways nowadays to create a, you know, to the art. You can even draw it yourself on your, on your phone and save it for your computer.